Today, the additional Solicitor General of India, Indra Jai Singh, said that she once again realized that a powerful section was backing Justice A.K. Ganguly. She was compelled to make public. Following this, the affidavit of the law in turn alleging sexual misconduct by the re retired Supreme Court judge. The additional Solicitor General revealed the affidavit yesterday unfolding the sequence of events that led to the leveling of charges of sexual harassment against the man on your screens who after retirement from the Supreme Court heads the West Bengal Human Rights Commission. These are explosive details of the incident as outlined in the victim's sworn affidavit before the Supreme Court Committee which the three-judge committee found prima facie to be established. The victim's detailed statement nails the former Supreme Court judge of sexual harassment. She had given details of a late evening spent at a hotel with Ganguly, where the victim was asked by the former judge to stay back and work on a report. In her statement, the law intern claims that despite resisting his offer to spend the night with the judge in the same hotel room, Justice Ganguly persisted. He even went on to offer his bedroom in the suit to her to relax and drink wine. The victim claimed that the former Supreme Court judge grabbed her hand, repeatedly kissed her and even claimed to love her. Mr. Chatterjee, at this point really, now that this affidavit is out and that too details of which have been made public by the additional Solicitor General, do you think that Justice A.K. Ganguly's position as the Chairman of the West Bengal Human Rights Commission becomes extremely tenable and that he should step down or rather, since he's not doing this on his own, the government should step in? Hello, my name is Senna. Yes, we can hear you, Mr. Chatterjee. Sir. Well, uh, if uh, there is a hint that I am trying to support him, this is a misreading of the whole situation. I'm sorry to say that you are dragging me in, into this for really no purpose. No, 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 that is but not my, the attempt at all. Uh, that is not the attempt at all, not Mr. By you, not by you, not by your channel, but some others maybe. The question is, I have never said that if he is guilty, he should be exonerated. If, on the other hand, I very clearly, categorically said, if he is guilty, he should be punished. I have said the nation should punish him. Secondly, what I have said, the course of events is that we are now, earlier it was just an allegation, now it is an allegation on affidavit. But still it is an allegation. I have said there is a law in this country, and in every civilized jurisprudence there is a, there is a system of trial, allegation, trial, opportunity to the accused, to, to make, put forward his case of defense, whatever it is. Nothing has been done, still in the position of allegations. He, the, uh, the judge may be right, judge may be wholly wrong in his state assertion of innocence. I am not the judge here. The, the, what the Supreme Court did is something you need. Supreme Court as a court did not go into the matter. Learned, three learned judges went into it. I don't know what were the materials but before Mr. them. But Mr. Chatterjee... Secondly... Yes. Sudden, yes. Go ahead, go ahead, sir. Please allow me to complete. Yes, please, please. Secondly, I found why suddenly his name was disclosed by an officer of the Supreme Court. And then forthwith Supreme Court is deciding that in future no such case should be looked into by the Supreme Court judges, learned judges. Now, why this exception was made here, I don't know. Secondly, is there is no proper proceedings initiated against him at all. I, I, my only stand as an humble citizen of India believing in rule of law that unless some allegations or charges are proved, somebody should not be asked to take a particular stand just to because allegations are made. Secondly, I have another submission. He is not, Justice Ganguly at the moment is not occupying a position in which he can interfere with any investigation or inquiry that may be held against him. On the other hand, everybody knows that, uh, that the local government there or the police there is not in a, not in, in a mood to help him also. But Mr. Ch uh, what's the, what's the but Mr. Father, Chatterjee, yes, let me come in at this point. You said, I have full faith in Ganguly. What should be done, he will do. My question to you is, for the sake of propriety, 
a charge has been made now an affidavit has be been made public by no less than the additional solicitor general for the sake of propriety shun justice ganguly has stepped down as the head of the west bengal human rights commission no anybody can be made to resign anybody can be a case can be allegation can be made against anybody in this country without any attempt to prove it this is my grievance not because it is ganguly it can be anybody else in this country you make an allegation and demand his resignation demand him to be punished let the law take its own course please let the law take its own course if he is guilty let him be punished with condign punishment i have nothing to say okay, but Mr. suddenly Mr. a law Chatterjee, officer and the law the law minister one last yes. question are you are you disappointed by how the supreme court panel handled this situation the very fact that they said this was an administrative issue that we were looking into it was a fact finding committee and now we rest it to the we leave it to the law and order agency the police to take the matter further were you disappointed by that i am ask i am asking myself why it was a single case the learned judges of the supreme court have held that we have seen in the papers that no such case will be looked into in the future and secondly if they have not come to any final conclusion in the matter i could have understood uh, the final conclusion had been arrived at under what authority it was then i don't know Sec thirdly next point is okay they it was only it was not the supreme court as such which was investigating into the matter I do not know of any authority in the, in this in the country I may be wrong if there is any let them point out let it be pointed out my humble submission is a, a guilty person should be punished but before he is held guilty there must be a proper procedure to hold him guilty prove his guilt please go ahead please prove him guilty set give him condign punishment i have nothing to say okay. it is wrong to say many that i am trying to support him it is wrong to say that i am trying to shield him i am only saying please prove his guilt according to the law okay. and send him to gallows if you want